So you're ready to become ultra human. In this video, we're gonna be looking at an exciting category that I haven't had a chance to play with previously and I really wanted to get my hands on and it's to do with smart rings. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at the process of what happens when you order the ultra human smart ring. So once you've ordered your ring off the website, you actually get sent out this kit first that shows you the different colors that are available inside of the ultra human ring air range. And in my case, I decided to go with space silver and you get this little sizing kit. And the goal is to put these little sizing bands on, wear them for a day or two to see what fits your finger the best. I tried a size nine and then actually realized it was too tight after I set with it on and ended up going for the size 10. So I'd really recommend that you play with the sizing properly. And then once you've had that decision made on what size is gonna fit your finger, you can go ahead and place the order through the email link that they send you to get the specific color and, and size that you wanna get. So I'm excited to get this ring. I'm excited to try it out because I haven't used a smartwatch for the last four or five years. It just doesn't work with my outfit. And this is what it looks like. Ultra human, very nice little packaged box. Obviously looking around, it's got a little bit of information on the product. Sleep, HRV, movement and temperature tracking, which is really quite interesting. Ultra human ring air, very nice. And bam, inside the box, we have the silver size 10 smart ring. First impressions, extremely lightweight, very similar sizing to the sizing kit. I would say it's just a tad tighter than the size 10 because there's a little lump on the inside where the sensor sits. You get some other information in here, a little bit more about the smart ring, how to use it, some guides. Obviously, if you want to read through that, no one really does. And the way that this thing charges is there's a little wireless puck that you plug in and USB-C and it wirelessly charges the smart ring. So included in the box is a wonderfully, well, even it's, it's actually braided USB-C to USB-C cable. Beautiful. So that plugs into your own provided wall socket, which you have to obviously have, but no one's giving those things any more inside of the box. But I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in somewhere around my house where it's convenient for me. Uh, the battery life, as far as I heard, is pretty good. So we're going to test all that out over the next couple of weeks for, to see how all the data fits. But I'm really liking the, the ring itself. I'm really liking the color. I think this works with everything. And as you can see, there's that little small ridge there on the inside. But I went for size 10 because see how I can swap between different fingers. So I can use my two indexes and my middle finger. So it depends on what I'm doing and where I want to wear it. The only little thing they say is don't use this in the gym, obviously, when you're lifting weights because you'll end up damaging and scratching it. But the good thing is with these devices, they actually feed information into the health app on the iPhone. So even if you don't use the ring, it should sync a lot of that data back to the phone, which is what I'm looking forward to trying out and, and using and giving a full review in the future. So to get the ring set up, I've downloaded the Ultra Human app from the App Store. It's going to be downloading and installing. You log in with either your Apple ID or anything associated similar. Uh, you can even use a Google ID, but in this case, I use my Apple one. And here we go, Ultra Human Ring. Obviously, using the app for the first time, you have to get your head around that a little bit. You can see that they're offering here a, a non-subscription model, meaning you don't have to pay every month to access most of their features. But they do allow you to buy some extra coverage, which even includes a protection against damage. And if you lose weight, you can actually get that return if you pay for the extra service. Just guiding you through here how you connect the ring onto the dock for it to charge. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, we'll do that a little bit later. And there's a few other connections there that you've got to do. It runs through a few little pairing 
things here, just taking sure that all the sensors are working properly on the device, which is great. They do this uh, double check to make sure everything's working properly. Now, once it's connected, you've got to input, obviously, your data. So in this case here, we're going to import uh, a few little things and allow it to have access to your health, uh, your height, your weight, obviously to make a correct calculation. The good thing is, and the exciting part is that this tracks your sleep. Deep, dive deep, worry free, water resistant, insights into sleeping, body clock, phase response curve, very interesting data, and a more active view and HRV insights, very interesting. And of course, we've got to allow it to have access to record all the data. I'll have an affiliate discount code linked below. If you guys have any questions about the Ultra Ring Air, let me know as I'll try to answer it in my review video. So make sure to subscribe.